We've got a massive performance boost for older AMD GPUs coming in kernel 6.19, a major distro switching to KDE Plasma, another one finally embracing Wayland by default, and a fascinating and slightly concerning look at how AI is being used in Linux development. So grab your coffee or your tea or whatever you drink, and let's get into the biggest Linux news of the week. This is one you won't want to miss. All right, let's kick things off with the kernel. And this is a big one especially if you're running older AMD hardware. Pharonix reports that Linux kernel 6.19 is bringing a massive performance boost to older AMD GPUs. We're talking GCN 1.0 and 1.1 cards. So think of the Radeon HD 7000 series. These are cards from 2012, and they're about to get a new lease on life. So what's happening here? Well, for a long time, these older cards have been using the legacy Radeon driver. But now, thanks to the hard work of Valm engineers, kernel 6.19 will default to the newer AMD GPU driver for these cards. And the performance uplift is, well, it's pretty staggering. In some cases, we're seeing over 40% improvement. That's, that's not a small number. This is a massive deal for anyone still rocking older hardware, and it's a testament to the power of open source development. It also means these older GPUs get access to the Mesa Rad V Vulkan driver, which will make a world of difference for gaming with Proton. In other kernel news, it's time to say goodbye to Linux kernel 6.17.